Syracuse coming off a dominant win and looking for another this week against the Wagner Seahawks. And we're breaking it down here on a web edition of Q's Countdown. Tyler Rocky alongside Gil Gross and Jenna Fink. And guys, Syracuse coming off an impressive win against the Broncos, but now they can't slip up this week against the Wagner Seahawks. And Eric Dungy coming off a great game for Syracuse. He had 200 rushing yards. That's the most ever by an ACC quarterback. So, Gil, I'll start with you. Can he win ACC Player of the Year? I don't see it. My guy is Ryan Finley. I do think Dungy can lead the ACC in rushing yards by a quarterback. That, I think, with Lamar Jackson out of the conference, I think he has that in the bag. Um, here's the problem. It's the, it's the efficiency with his arm. He's, just, he's not an accurate enough passer to, be, you know, to, to have consistent production throwing the football. If you look at his passer rating, he was 10th last year. The two seasons before that, he was 8th in both seasons. So not only did he regress, but none of those are good. Yeah, no, I totally agree. It really depends on how healthy Eric Dungy stays throughout the year. Last season and this season, he came out to a hot start, really good first game, and then we kind of see his momentum decrease a little bit towards going through the season, and then he gets injured last year. And that definitely obviously puts a damper on winning uh, anything in the ACC. But this year, if he's able to keep that momentum going, he definitely could. But if he gets mom if he gets injured, you know, it probably wouldn't be happening. But I do agree with you. If he's healthy, he could be the lead ACC rusher. Well, this upcoming game would be a pretty lethal one to get injured in to start the season. But if Eric Dungy can stay healthy, I completely agree with both of you. He could be a force in this conference. Now, let's look ahead to Wagner real quick. The Seahawks, again, they're a team coming off an impressive win against a D2 school. But, Gil, I'll start with you. What does this team need to do to maybe make sure that the Wagner Seahawks don't pull off an upset? Syracuse, I'm not worried about the upset, but what Syracuse needs to do here, they just need an ounce of confidence on the defensive side of the football. A lot of the players who will be suiting up tomorrow, they were suiting up last year too, and it's been a terrible stretch by this defense. In the last five games that Syracuse has played, it's given up. 204 points that's an average of 40 points allowed per game so just to face an fcs school which will be way undersized and they'll get bullied quite frankly it'll be good for the orange to just gain some confidence no i totally agree the defense does have to step up this week but i think they need to stop ryan Fulls. this running back easily stole the show last week against bowie state and he had a career-high 271 yards and three touchdowns, two of which were 77-yard runs. Now, I know that was against a D2 school, but still, that's pretty impressive. He's arguably the backbone of the entire offense. And, but the defense last, a Syracuse defense did have some bright spots last week, and they're running the 4-3 defense this week. So I think that will definitely help them elevate their uh, being able to block the rush game. All right, now looking ahead to this week, Jenna, I'll start with you. Does Syracuse avoid the upset? I do think Syracuse avoids the upset. I think Syracuse is going to win 44-21, and I would definitely expect another explosive offensive performance from the Orange. Last week, the Orange scored 24 points in the first quarter, which was the most scored by an opening quarter under head coach Dino Babers. And it really, it all comes back to quarterback Eric Dungy. He had 200 rushing yards, and plus he had a lot of success with Jamal Custis. So I think with the powerful offense and the defense, I think Syracuse is going to be able to get it done this week. In Wagner's last game against Bowie State, Ryan Fulce looked like Adrian Peterson's high school huddle tape. And it's not going to look like it this week. I have Syracuse winning 58-14. All right, so Jenna a little closer than Gil, yeah, but right. either way, Syracuse is going to start this 1-2-0, according to both of them. For Jenna Fink and Gil Gross, I'm Tyler Rocky. Syracuse and Wagner coming up 3.30 this Saturday.